various local news stations. Begin now with breaking news. Take a look at what happened. Oh. <laughs> Breaking news and shocking scene. Uh, former President Donald Trump has been released from the hospital after he was shot at that rally in Pennsylvania today. Uh, only a short time into his remarks, a crowd of thousands of people listening. Trump says a bullet or a fragment of a bullet pierced part of his right ear. He says he's doing okay and will attend the Republican convention set to begin in Milwaukee. That's on Monday. Good evening, everybody. Thank you for joining us. I'm Catherine Hayes. And I'm Thorne. The former president was at a campaign rally in Butler, Pennsylvania. The shooter was killed by Secret Service outside of that rally. One other person, a rally attending, also dead. Two others were hurt. And here's an idea of what we were uh, looking at here. This is where the approximate location of where the president was giving his rally earlier today and also where this suspected shooter uh, was. This was uh, probably about 400 feet, roughly, the distance between these two locations. Uh, we know a 20-year-old uh, Pennsylvania man was uh, somebody who has been only identified by the FBI uh, in that manner. They have not been identified as any other person by their name or whatnot. Just a 20-year-old man that was from Pennsylvania when he uh, did this shooting here in this area. Again, another president said that he felt a bullet rip through his ear earlier today as he was giving that campaign rally. Um, the uh, two people died, including the shooter. One of those was an attendee uh, who was uh, who was killed at this point. Um, and uh, the White House, meantime, tweeted that President Biden and former President Trump did talk by phone. Uh, Biden is back at the White House after spending part of the weekend in Delaware. He says he will continue to get regular updates from Homeland Security and from law enforcement officials. Meantime, hmm. former President Trump issued a statement. He says he has been thinking about the people at the rally who were affected, saying on Truth Social, I want to extend my condolences to the family of the person at the rally who was killed, also to the family of another person badly injured. It is incredible that such an act can take place in our country. All right, we want to go to our Washington, D.C. Bureau now, Vinay Simlot, wrapping up today's uh, unfortunate events. Uh,